Maybe you've been wondering, does Thrive Leads work together with the autoresponder service MailChimp? And the answer is yes, it does. So here's a tutorial to show you exactly how to do it. First, in your WordPress admin dashboard, go to your Thrive Themes menu items here and choose API Connections. And then you'll see this screen here. And in Connection Type from this dropdown, select MailChimp. And as you can see, all we really need here is an API key to enter in this field. To get this API key, go to your MailChimp account and log in, and then go to this drop down here next to your username and go to account. From here, go to extras and API keys. Now, if you're seeing this the first time, you won't see a list like we have here. We've got a bunch of test keys that we created, but you will see this option here that says create a key. So you click on this button right here. And that gives you a new key that's added to the top of the list. You can click on this to give it a label. So I could call this Thrive Leads Test or something like that. And basically what you want to do is just copy this key right here. So we copy that, go back into our Thrive Leads options, paste it in here and save MailChimp API key. So here we get this success message. And if we go to Active Connections, you can see MailChimp is now added. And if you ever wanna change that, you can disconnect it right here. And you can also remove your API key from this list in MailChimp to deactivate that again. Now, when you're editing a Thrive Leads form, click on the opt-in form inside the form. And in the options that appear, click on connect with service. Then you can create a new connection here. You choose API as a connection type because we've just set up an API connection. So we go to the next step and here we have Right now I only have this in the list because that's what I added. So you select the connection that you created and this will list all of your, basically all the lists you've created inside your MailChimp account. So you can choose which list you want to connect this opt-in form to. So I'm going to choose one of the test lists and save that. So here we have the option of showing up to three fields for MailChimp and that's name, email is mandatory, you can't unselect that and phone number. So name and phone number are optional. If you only wanna collect the email address, you just leave it like this. If you wanna go, let's say name and email address, you tick the name field as well. Then you can select what happens after the form is submitted and you can either reload the current page or redirect to a specific URL. So you can send your new subscribers to a custom thank you page URL by entering that right here. And then you save your settings. And once you save these changes in your form that completes the connection between the new form you've created and the list that you've selected from your MailChimp account. Once you've done this, make sure to test the whole process to make sure that new leads are added correctly inside your MailChimp account.